Uh, community is still reeling for the news that Pastor Tony Evans is stepping away from his church. And tonight, there's no timetable for his return. The potential stepping down of mega pastors like Tony Evans, Robert Morris, and T.D. Jakes would undoubtedly have significant impacts on their respective congregations. These transitions would need to be managed with great care, emphasizing transparency, support, and ethical leadership. By addressing these issues thoughtfully and proactively, churches can navigate these challenging times and emerge stronger, with a renewed commitment to their mission and values. The legacy of these leaders can continue through well-planned succession and the unwavering faith of their congregations. Developing story this morning, a longtime pastor is stepping away from his leadership role at a Dallas megachurch, alluding to a form of moral failure. The sudden resignation of a mega pastor without providing a reason can send shockwaves through a congregation. Megachurches are often built around the dynamic personalities and spiritual guidance of their leaders. These pastors are more than just figures delivering weekly sermons. They are the visionaries and anchors of their communities, providing not only spiritual direction, but also a sense of stability and continuity. When such a leader steps down abruptly without explanation, it can leave the congregation in a state of confusion and uncertainty, causing a ripple effect that impacts the church on multiple levels. One of the most immediate impacts of a pastor's sudden resignation is the emotional and spiritual turmoil it causes among congregants. Faith communities rely heavily on the trust and connection they feel with their leaders. A sudden departure can feel like a betrayal, shaking the very foundation of the member's faith. The absence of a clear reason for the resignation only exacerbates this feeling, leading to speculation and rumors that can further destabilize the congregation. Members might begin to question their own beliefs and the integrity of the church's leadership, this can lead to a crisis of faith as individuals struggle to reconcile their spiritual commitments with the actions of their leaders. For some, the pastor's departure can be so disheartening that they decide to leave the church altogether, seeking a new spiritual home where they feel more secure and valued. Trust is a crucial component of any successful community, particularly within a church. When a leader steps down without explanation, it can erode the trust that congregants have in their leadership. The lack of transparency can make members feel as though they are not valued or respected enough to be told the truth. This breakdown of trust can lead to a fracturing of the community as members who were once united in their faith and mission begin to drift apart. We jump into Romans this morning. You know, Jonathan w was talking about uh, that God has called us as his church to be holy and to be pure. And so uh, you see it, you're on social media, you hear what's going on in the news, and there's some men of God that I have greatly respected, and uh, they have fallen, and they have sinned, and that's not God's plan and purpose for us as His church. And I say that this morning, not in condemnation, but uh, we can't ignore, so to speak, the elephant in the room, and I'm saying this to encourage us to keep our eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Community cohesion is often built around shared experiences and the guidance of a central figure. Without this figure and without understanding why they have left, the community can become fragmented. Cliques may form, each with its own theories and explanations for the departure, further dividing the congregation. This can lead to a toxic environment where gossip and suspicion replace fellowship and support. Megachurches often have substantial operational budgets and a wide range of programs and initiatives that rely heavily on the leadership of their senior pastors. The sudden departure of a pastor can lead to financial instability, as congregants who are disillusioned or confused by the resignation may reduce their financial contributions or stop giving altogether. This decline in revenue can have a significant impact on the church's ability to maintain its programs, pay its staff, and support its outreach initiatives. Operationally, the absence of a key leader can leave a vacuum that is difficult to fill. The senior pastor often plays a crucial role in strategic planning, decision-making, and day-to-day -day management of the church. Without their guidance, the church can struggle to maintain its direction and momentum. This can lead to a period of stagnation or decline during which the church's influence and effectiveness in the community are diminished. 
In light of these challenges, it is crucial for church leadership to prioritize transparency and accountability. When a pastor steps down, providing a clear and honest explanation can help to mitigate the negative impact on the congregation. Even if the reasons are sensitive or involve personal failings, it is better to address these issues openly rather than allowing speculation and rumors to fill the void. Transparency shows respect for the congregation and acknowledges their right to understand the decisions that affect their community. It also sets a precedent for accountability, demonstrating that leaders are held to high standards and that ethical breaches will not be hidden or tolerated. This can help to rebuild trust and ensure that the church remains a place of integrity and honesty. If the reason for a pastor's resignation is a serious moral failing, it is especially important to address this openly. Leaders who have committed significant ethical breaches should not continue to hold position S of authority as their actions undermine the moral foundation of the church. Allowing such leaders to remain in power sends a message that unethical behavior is acceptable, which can have long-term detrimental effects on the church's culture. Removing leaders with serious moral failings from their positions is a necessary step towards healing and restoration. It allows the congregation to see that justice and accountability are valued, and it provides an opportunity for new, more ethical leadership to emerge. This process can be painful, but it is essential for the health and integrity of the church. In the aftermath of a pastor's resignation, particularly one involving moral failings, it is important to provide support and counseling for the congregation. Professional counseling can help individuals process their emotions and begin the healing process. It offers a safe space for members to express their feelings and work through the trauma caused by the leader's departure. Spiritual counseling and support groups can also play a crucial role in helping the congregation to rebuild their faith and sense of community. These resources can provide guidance and reassurance, helping members to reconnect with their beliefs and find strength in their faith. By addressing the emotional and spiritual needs of the congregation, the church can begin to recover and move forward. Restoring faith and moving forward after the sudden resignation of a pastor requires a concerted effort from both the leadership and the congregation. It involves acknowledging the pain and damage caused, providing transparent communication, and demonstrating a commitment to accountability and ethical behavior. By taking these steps, the church can begin to rebuild trust and create a healthier, more resilient community. Leadership transitions can be an opportunity for growth and renewal. New leaders can bring fresh perspectives and renewed energy, helping the church to evolve and adapt to new challenges. By focusing on transparency, accountability, and support, the church can turn a difficult situation into an opportunity for positive change. In conclusion, the sudden resignation of mega-pastors without providing a reason can have profound negative effects on their congregation. It can lead to emotional and spiritual turmoil, breakdown of trust and community cohesion, and financial and operational challenges. Addressing these issues requires transparency, accountability, and a commitment to ethical leadership. By providing support and counseling, and by demonstrating a willingness to address serious moral failings openly, the church can begin to heal and move forward. Through these efforts, the church can emerge stronger and more unified, ready to continue its mission with renewed integrity and purpose.